Hey everyone, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for this episode, it's going to be a treat. We're actually going to go out of the house because I need to do some errands. I need to go drop by a mall. We need to buy some furniture for the house because it's starting to get really cluttered ever since we did work from home. All the stuff has been piling up and we need to buy some furniture to clean things up. Uh, so, But since we're going to be at the mall anyway, I will be dropping by a sneaker shop of our good friends Julius Babao and Tintin Bersola. Of course, sneakers and such, sneakers and such over at Shangri-La Mall. So if that interests you, you guys want to come along, let's go. And for our sneakers of the day, ba-bam, let's go with this one. It's been a minute since I last wore this. Of course, we have uh, the off-white Jordan 5. I did, you know, cut the holes out of this one. So the color of the socks pops out a bit. So let's go with the shoe. So I was getting ready, uh, looking for a face mask to wear. And I just want to report back to you guys. That this is probably one of the worst face masks I've ever tried and used. And this one of the most expensive too. Uh, this is the off-white face mask. And it sucks not because maybe it's just made out of cloth. It sucks because it's small. So <laughs> when I wear it like this, it, it's literally constricting. I cannot breathe because I have a big face. So this one went like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's strangulation happening. So waste of money for me. If you're a big guy with a big face, stay clear from off-white small face masks. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. For those who don't know, Sneakers and Such is a sneaker reseller shop that can be found in Styled, which is on the second floor of the West or East, the new wing of Shangri-La Mall. Now, if you check out the store, we did find a couple of Yeezys. Actually, there are a lot of Yeezy 350s. Price ranges anywhere from 20 to 30,000. A bit pricey, mainly because obviously they are paying a high price for the rent inside the premium mall here in the Philippines. Uh, now, among the Yeezys that caught my attention, uh, the glow in the dark one was something interesting. I've never had a pair of that. Uh, the I think it was like the 700 MNVN in black. I've never had one of those as well. And it was just nice seeing the Zebra again, especially since they just re-released it. And I think it's like one of the most iconic Yeezys, even more iconic than the Yeezy V1s that came out in the past. It's probably one of the more, most popular uh, Yeezy 350s. If, if Jordan 1 had Chicago's, maybe Yeezys had Zebras. And apart from that, there were a couple of off-white kicks, mostly the Waffles. There were some off-white dunks in green and in red. Uh, they were selling, I think, for a little over 40,000 or around 30 plus thousand. And we did also find the Jordan 11, uh, which I really want to get. I, I don't have it yet, so I've, I've been planning to pick one up for a while now. I think it was over 15,000. I just can't remember the exact price. Uh, they did mention though that they had a lot, and I mean a lot, of Jordan 1s available they had the jordan one i think in the purple one which i did the review on and also the jordan one in blue uh, the royal or their game royal uh, but the latest blue one that came out so they had a lot of stock of jordan ones if you want one now might be the best time to pick one up uh, they also had several toys if you are a toy collector if you collect local art toys such as quicks which i am a big fan of you can find several figures being sold there obviously at reseller prices so they are a bit pricey and lastly when it came to the hype kicks obviously they had the travis scotts they had the you know the more expensive ones so if you if you are in shangri-la mall and if you really want to pick up sneakers uh, hype sneakers uh, then you might want to check them out chances are they probably have a lot of good pairs there uh, sitting now after sneakers and such i wanted to drop by titan i forgot that they would only let you in if you had appointment so scratch that uh, but i was able to check out a sneak peek and i saw this really nice new balance sneaker i think it was like a chinese new year uh, thing really nice wanted to pick it up but they didn't have it in my size so i ended up not buying any sneakers at all it was a total bust for sneakers but i ended up going home hi guys back home with a package from digital walker so digital walker is a gadget shop they're one of my favorite gadget shops and i ended up buying two gadgets and i just wanted to share them with you they are kind of interesting and i think you'll find them really well awesome uh the first one and this is really weird <laughs> but i wanted to buy it anyway so i was in the market for like a wireless charger because i'm so into wireless charging 
doing these days. And I wanted to have like a wireless charger in our nightstand in the bedroom. And this was the one that the wife uh, asked me to get. So this is the Momax Power UV Box. So apart from being a wireless charging plate, it can also UV sanitize your gadget. So it's a box, you put your phone, you put your earphones, you put whatever you wanna sanitize inside the box and it should be able not only to clean it, but it also has an aroma diffuser so that it gives your items a pleasant smell afterwards man so by the way this is 7.5 watts max fast wireless charging for ios and if you are charging android it is 10 watts max which is i guess fast charging for android this one sold supposedly for 3990 pesos but it was on sale i got it for a little less than 3000 pesos for a wireless charger that kills 99.9 percent .9 of germs and viruses and bacteria which i think is something that we should all be trying to do most of the time these days so this is like the first purchase that i had now a second purchase that i have i told you i was so into wireless chargers is this this is the one plus warp charger charging wireless charger so if this one could do like 10 watts this according to what's on the label is 30 watts so it should be able to fast charge the uh, OnePlus 8 Pro, which I recently showed you guys in my Lazada haul unboxing. If you guys didn't see that video yet, I'll put the link down below. I am finalizing my review of the OnePlus 8 Pro. That should be coming this week, so watch out for that. Uh, it's, it's been a while since I did a tech vlog or a tech review, so I'm super excited to film that and share my uh, impressions, uh, how I found it. I really feel that it's a really good phone, so you, you guys definitely have to watch out for that review. So again, this is the OnePlus Warp Charge 30 wireless charger. This is pricey AF. 3,990 pesos, almost 4,000 pesos for a friggin' charger, a wireless charger. But hey, if it lives up to doing 30 watts fast charging, then this should be well worth the money in my head. <laughs> Pwede ka naman mag-antay na lang, Carlo, di ba? Isaksak mo sa plug, libre pa, nandiyan yung charger. But anyway, <laughs> uh, that's right. You, by the way, reminder, do dumb stuff with your money if you're already smart with your money. So if you know how to invest, if you have investments, if you have an emergency fund, if you are invested in good financial instruments, that is the best time already where you, uh, you can be dumb with your money. When you've taken care of business, when you're invested, when you're kind of financially secure, and you can actually afford to splurge 3,990 pesos on a friggin' wireless charger. What was I thinking? At least this kind of makes you feel cleaner and safer because it has like the... Uh, you, you, what do you call that? The UV cleaning. By the way, if you want any of the two, I think they're available on Lazada. So I'll put the link down below just in case you guys want to buy the Momax Power UV box, UV sanitizing box with wireless charging, or the OnePlus 30 watts warp charging wireless charger. So ta da! At this point in the vlog, I just wanted to share my experience of shopping in a mall again because it's been a while since I last went to a mall. The last shopping trip wherein we did the Onitsuka, the Adidas, and the Titan. Oh, the links to all three sneaker shopping vlogs, I'll put down below. Watch it if you guys haven't watched it yet. And, and this was the first, those were all like outdoor shops. And this is like the first time I entered a mall specifically to like buy stuff. By the way, the, the haul that we have for furniture, I won't vlog that anymore, but we bought a lot of stuff from Muji. Anyway, so here's the experience. One, you can really see how painstakingly uh, the, the, the administration of the mall tries to make it as safe and comfy as possible uh, for people all the way from taking your temperature to always sanitizing. I saw staff always, you know, cleaning the rails and cleaning all different kinds of handles. And even the, the stores themselves would have like procedures before you get in. You'd always have to sanitize your hands. You'd always have to wear a face mask and stuff like that. So I, I, I kind of felt really safe, especially since there weren't a lot of people in the mall. Uh, but if there was one thing that I really noticed and stuck to me was that it was warm. I mean, I think there is a policy right now that the temperature of malls would be set to like 25 degrees or up. Uh, well, which isn't like the normal cool, cool air that you have when you are in the mall. So obviously, you should only go to the mall if you are going to buy something and then get out because it's not going to be as comfortable as you would want it to be or as it was in the past. Uh, and, I, and I can completely understand that obviously because you don't want people lounging around in malls 
and spending ridiculous amounts of time there for no reason if they're not going to buy anything essential, right? So, or if you are going to go there for a leisurely walk or a leisure time with your family, uh, just don't spend too much time for your own safety. And, and I guess the incentive of the mall for you to, or for the government for you to go home as much as possible or fast as possible is by not, you know, making sure that it's the coolest experience ever with good AC. So yeah, anyway, that was the overall experience that I got from being in Shangri-La Mall. So at least today, if you guys haven't been to a mall anytime, uh, well, in, in the last few weeks, now you have an idea what it's like, right? So yeah, that's it. Uh, that's for the experience. And now for the part that a lot of you have been waiting for, which is our raffle draw for the winner of the Huawei Y7P smartphone. So let's find out who is going to get a brand new Huawei smartphone uh, from the vlog. Congratulations to the winner. I'll be reaching out to you via Instagram so I can send you your brand new phone over. Now to those who didn't win and feel sad, don't because I am going to announce a new giveaway in the next few days. So make sure that you keep watching, make sure that you keep tuned in to the vlog so you can see what the latest giveaway is when it happens. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed our video for today. No power up words of wisdom for today. It's chill, it's relaxed. At bukas tayo humugot ulit ng malalim. I hope you're all fine. Peace, God bless. What's up? Boom.